Its reefs lie where the Indian and Pacific Oceans overlap, making its waters the meeting point for a mass of colorful marine life. These reefs have been called the rainforests of the sea. Hundreds of varieties of corals support a wealth of microorganisms and a hierarchy of fish to feed on them. Of course, just as in the rainforest above, such abundance attracts attention. The reef is a magnet for predators, and ocean-going hunters like the barracuda arrive at the reefs in very large numbers. Sometimes they swim in rotating wheel formations, just like the bats leaving the caves at dusk. Whether this mesmerizing display is to protect them from attack or to help catch prey is not known, but their lethal efficiency in hunting is unquestioned. Some fish never stray beyond Borneo's coral reefs into the deep oceans. But other creatures spend their lives out there and are only now coming back to the sanctuary of these sheltered island waters. After 25 years away, these turtles are returning to the island of their birth. Now ready to breed, they may swim thousands of kilometers of ocean to reach the reef below the beach where they were born. The turtles linger at one of the reef's cleaning stations. Here, specialist fish make a meal out of their parasites and dead skin, leaving the turtles more comfortable and less prone to infections. The cleaner fish also clean algae from the turtles' sensitive shells, which could slow them down on their epic migration across the seas. The pause gives the female turtles a chance to gather their strength for the last and most important part of their journey. off the reef, males are waiting, and when the time is right, each female will move off to join them. 